client want to appeal? Oh, absolutely. And she has some excellent grounds for it. We even had tried to get the UK. Yikes. The public is now convinced that Amber and her team are stuck as the actress may be unable to present verifiable facts for her appeal. But there's more. Keep watching to find out. Amber's team has extended the appeal deadline and all indicators point to the team not being ready to be defeated. Besides, Amber is neck deep in other lawsuits making it difficult for her to go against Depp one more time. Additionally, Amber Heard's lawyers are trying to halt depositions in a civil dispute between two insurance companies fighting over their financial liability for the $10 million she owes Johnny Depp. As a result, Amber believes stalling the appeal is the best option for her. However, a new filing says Heard's lawyers don't want the case to proceed while she's appealing the $10 million verdict that the U.S. jury ordered her to pay Depp for defamation, saying the continued prosecution of these actions is prejudicial to Ms. Heard's defense. Claims involving the New York Marine and General Insurance Co. as duty to indemnify a judgment are not ripe unless and until there is a final judgment in the Depp lawsuit. The filing said, but here's the same team postponing both the appeal and her lawsuit against New York Marine over and again. Heard's new lawyers said they may move for a protective order to thwart depositions that New York Marine lawyers want to conduct with the lawyers who represented Heard in Depp's lawsuit and her countersuit. They also want a hearing scheduled for NOV, three to be rescheduled to DEC, one or another date convenient for the court. New York Marine lawyers, meanwhile, are questioning whether Heard truly wasn't a United States resident when they sued her, saying they've received no evidence showing so. They also don't want their scheduled depositions to be delayed, saying Heard's lawyers didn't mention the jurisdictional question they're now raising when the depositions were scheduled. Accordingly, New York Marine believes it is appropriate for the depositions scheduled in mid-November to proceed as currently scheduled. According to a scheduling report filed by Lawyers for Heard, New York Marine and Travelers Commercial Insurance Co. Lawyers for Travelers don't oppose Heard's stay request, but New York Marine lawyers want to proceed with only their claims regarding the company's duty to defend Heard, saying it's fine to do so because of the existing judgment. That's because New York Marine is seeking a court order declaring that it doesn't have to pay Heard's judgment, which will be relevant if the judgment is affirmed or otherwise not disturbed on appeal. Another potential reason for this shenanigan is that her team has to spend a lot of time fabricating the right arguments considering how difficult it is for them to win the appeal in the end. It's pretty much hopeless for them. Majority of their motions has been disallowed by the court so Amber and her team are probably trying to dig up dirt where there is none. Uh, this order uh, was very interesting. It just came out from Judge Penny Ascarati on Wednesday afternoon. And she said that Defendant Amber Laura Heard's post-trial motions one through six are denied for the reasons stated on the record. And these motions really had to do with Amber Heard saying, look, this verdict wasn't fair because of this reason or that reason. And the damages uh, awarded by the jury were out of line etc. But Judge Ascarati just issued one sentence. Defendant Amber Laura Heard's post-trial motions one through six are denied for the reasons stated on the record. And that has to do with that June 24th hearing. Let's see how fans have reacted. A fan wrote, she is dragging out both cases. Why? She has not settled anywhere yet. Whilst the appeal is not influenced by the insurance case, the insurance case will be influenced by the appeal. They have to win the appeal or she loses everything. Another fan added, Amber Heard delaying everything, even though it's her appeal and she should have been on time with her brief. This will take years. Interestingly, Ben Chu clapped back. As soon as the court granted Amber's extension of time and page count, he filed his own request for the same rules to be applied to Johnny's response. But the court decided to take no action, for now, until Amber's brief is filed. See you next time for more entertainment.